All right, back at it, about a few hours east of Sagana. Right now we're right next to the Mutanga River, which as far as we know, hasn't been done, or at least hasn't been done this high up. It's not the biggest river. It looks like one of the bigger rivers on this side of the mountain, but still not that big of a river. And last night it looked like a decent flow where we got some rain. It actually came up a bit to the point that we weren't sure if we should put on because it's higher water with a kind of a narrow river usually means not a lot of eddies so we didn't want to like get stuck into some gorges with some high flows when you're first ding but you got it super jungled on the side but after flying the drone a bit we decided that it looked open enough in enough places as well as a lot of farms coming down kind of near the river so there is access to hike out if we get committed to something or if we just need to scout farther down so, so we're gonna go ahead and go for it we should do about four and a half miles today down to where there's a big like construction site Hopefully, it should be some decent little white water. I don't know if there's gonna be anything super tall. Still wanna check it out because it could still be a really fun section to do. So we're getting ready. Still kind of drizzling a little, but hopefully the river won't keep rising on us. We're gonna to try to crush this section. Fingers crossed that it's got some cool stuff in there. We know at the bottom where we're gonna take out, there's a few little like booths, maybe like a 10 footer. So maybe there'll be some more cool stuff in between here and there. Either way, time for some more exploring. Hopefully we'll be able to just crush this four and a half miles and uh, not have to do any jungle fuckery. Stoke, let's go. Jungle pants. We're in jungle pants today. So this is like a restaurant slash like a little resort thing. We ended up staying here last night because it's where we wanted to put on. We were gonna put on about three miles upstream of here, but we drone scouted a little bit of the section upstream and it didn't look crazy. But then also right here where this lodge is, this gorge right there where that last little rapid is, there's a gnarly little like, almost a land bridge and there's some logs and it's a super gnarly little drop but you can't run. That comes out of a super tight gorge. So we wouldn't be able to portage it if we got into that gorge. So either way, we decided we were gonna put in here today. But then the little rapids after are kind of messed up. And then it goes off of about a, I don't know, 60 foot cascading slide that's not runnable. But luckily there's a nice trail. So we're gonna skip these first rapids and the big drop. And fingers crossed, should be some good stuff downstream. Nope. Okay, no? Yeah, I think so. second horizon line down there boof middle right but then drive all the way left after because you're avoiding some branches to more flowy stuff like this when you go over a little stick across the water like up there it's the next big eddy on the right if for whatever reason you get blown into the big drop the curler is moving left to right you're going to enter from the right to boof onto the curler and take the biggest right you can and boof it straight down but there's a nice pull above it for the Eddie. Woo! Fun. Definitely when it's wide open, it's not the most amount of water, but when it channelizes, super fun, flowy moves, good boosts. We're actually really glad we got that rain last night. We were a little worried. The 
Look at the rapid by camp. That would be too much water. I think it's actually great. Come on. I feel like your bow is going to get a little swallowed. I think you going to have so much stern in the flow to back ender. Yeah, it's more like a slide. Yeah, right? it's like much. I know. I mean, you totally could crush it. momentum forward you'll be fine I think it probably could go better than it looks, but the problem is if you're on edge at all, you might just break your face, your shoulder on the wall. Or if you were to like plug it weird and have your bow go one way and your stern the other, maybe you could get pinned. Not really worth it. Left a little too early. <laughs> Left a little later. <laughs> you all got left too early. <laughs> we all did the exact same thing. Just left of the peak, big lefty. Okay, so left righty, wherever off the little one, left righty. Okay. Yeah.
you're pretty close to the bottom, but these last few sequences have been so good. I have lost track of how many sick, like, water skip boots we've done today. So stoked on a second. Are there more waterfalls? <laughs> The change in color because of the construction site is crazy. I'm just too worried about a captain on my neck, wrapping around my neck. Unfortunately, this would have been a cool one to run, but there's a line that you can thread down the needle, like right down the middle, you can thread the needle. But if you're too far left, you can really mess up your ribs on that rock. And then you could go for the reconnect line under the bushes. But I'm a little worried how thick it is, something catching on my neck actually really hurting myself with how thick it is there. I think we're gonna walk it, but there is a line to the top of where the trees are right now. <laughs> it's crazy how the river just turned into complete brown. No, no, no. You know, you know what's crazier than that? Jerry is paddling back upstream to get a rock because he thinks it might pay for his retirement. <laughs> just send a photo, he's like, bro, that's like worth like a dollar. <laughs> you know how we're shit talking his fine here? If it turns out to be valuable, we have to delete the, the car. Yeah. The video. <laughs> Because all the work they do on the mountain, they're definitely pushing a lot of little boulders and dirt into the river, and you can tell because it's like super shallow. As long as you keep your bow up at all, you should be good. And where the main flow is, like even if you do plug it, maybe hit bottom, it should be fine. But as long as you keep your bow up at all, you're gonna be good. I'm just like so, so like these guys. The hard part is definitely. Direct, it's gonna be hard to turn and get the lip. Even if you have to like backstroke and turn and scramble right, I think it'll be good. So I think I'm gonna just left of the way, big righty. I mean, even if you were starting to getting pushed left, you can still scramble this way and then go for big righty. Yeah. We thought about trying two of these little eddies here, but I think we're feeling direct. Eddie's going first, I'll probably go second. <laughs> Yeah! Give me a second. Woo! Just have that little bit more time than you think. was fantastic. The amount of times we got to skip away from a booth was like amazing. I would do that again. If it rained over here, I would bomb that section for sure. I'm so happy we put on. Yeah, because it's like a perfect level too. Once again, perfect level. Hey, you can get 
What more can I give you? So many boosts. The portage is rolling two seconds too. I'm trying to remember what else we portage. Like the, the crack, one. the waterfall. There's three, I think. Yeah. The crack you could do if you wanted to do. I don't want to. Yeah. But you could. Waterfall too, but. Yeah. Like actually, like would do again, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And like bomb it. Be so much fun. Like how many times we skipped away from stuff. It's so good. We all went and put on today because. The rapids at the put-in were not giving us good vibes. And with the rain and the higher water, we were worried they would be a little sketchy to drop in in some of those, some of those gorges with the more flow and not knowing what's around the corner, especially because, you know, could maybe there's log jam, maybe there's lava tooth, maybe some gnarly rapids like the one that we portaged at the put-in. But that was actually like a really good section. It's about just over six miles, somewhere around six and a half miles. Only three portages, I believe we did. And like one or two of them you could do if you wanted to. And the portage is only like two seconds long. And then I don't even know, like maybe 30 boofs, like perfect, like water skipping out, like satisfying boof. And then a couple cool, like little tight little canyons. And then finish off with that like five footer to 15 footer or 10 footer, whatever it is. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm so glad we put on. And that is 100% a section we'll do again. Yeah, if it rains at all over here and you've got a little bit of juice in there, that is an awesome section. I 100% would love to try to either do that again this trip or yet another reason to come back. Stoked you found that one. Now it's time to head about 20 minutes over. Now we're gonna go check out the Neathy River. Fingers crossed that one should have a lot more stuff as well. Whew. On to the next. Stoked. Let's go. Oh. 